weight loss programs the race to fitness is on and a lot of people are getting into the bandwagon. Some people do it to achieve a sexy body, some people just do it because they are embarrassed with the body they have now, while others do it simply to remain fit and heal the. As such, many fitness programs are out in the internet, in gyms, spas and fitness centers all over. Some are too expensive to afford that one may even lose weight just by trying to work out the money needed to pursue these fitness programs. One may not have to go to the gym or the spa or any fitness center and spend much just to slim down to obtain that long for sexy body. There are many books available in the bookstore which offer weight loss programs which are convenient and for free, of course the books are not though. These weight loss programs, or diet plans are gaining immense popularity with so much publicity, testimonials and reviews that one may be confused which exactly to follow. So before choosing which weight loss plan to follow, try reading these summaries about the most popular diet programs out today. Atkins New Diet Revolution by Dr. Atkins. This weight loss program encourages high-protein diet and a trim down on the carbs. One can feast on vegetables and meat but should fast on bread and pasta. One is also not restricted against fat intake so it is okay to pour in the salad dressing and freely spread on the butter. However, after the diet, one may find himself lacking on fiber and calcium yet high in fat. Intake of grains and fruits are also limited. Carbohydrate Addicts Diet by Doctors. Heller. This diet plan advocates low carbohydrate eating. Approves on eating meats, vegetables and fruits, dairy and grain products, however, warns against taking in too much carb. Reward meal can be too high on fats and saturated fats. Choose to lose by Dr. Gore. Restrains fat intake. One is given a fat budget and he is given the liberty on how to spend it. It does not pressure the individual to watch his carbohydrate intake. Eating meat and poultry as well as low-fat dairy and seafoods is okay. A go signal is also given on eating vegetables, fruits, cereals, bread and pasta. This weight loss plan is fairly healthy, good amounts of fruits and vegetables as well as saturated fats. Watch triglyceride levels though, if high, trim down the carbohydrates and tuck in more of the unsaturated fats. The DASH diet. Advocates moderate amounts of fat and protein intake and high on carbs. Primarily designed to lower blood pressure, the diet plan follows the Pyramid Food Guide and encourages high intake of whole wheat grains as well as fruits and vegetables and low-fat dairy. Some dieters think it advocates too much eating to procure significant weight loss. Eat More, Weigh Less by Dr. Ornish. Primarily vegetarian fare and strictly low-fat. Gives the go signal on the glow foods but warns to watch it on non-fat dairy and egg whites. This diet is poor in calcium and retrix consumption of healthy foods like seafoods and lean poultry. Eat right for your type. Interesting because it is based on the person's blood type, recommends plenty of mest for people with the blood type O diet plans for some blood types are nutritionally imbalanced and too low in calories. And for the record, there is even no proof that blood type affects dietary needs. The Pritkin Principle. Focused on trimming the calorie density in eating by suggesting watery foods that make one feel full. Eating vegetables, fruits, oatmeal, pasta, soups, salads and low-fat dairy is okay. Although limits protein sources to lean meat, pea seafood and poultry. Although it is healthy by providing low amounts of saturated fats and rich amounts of vegetables and fruits, it is also low on calcium and limits lean protein sources. Volumetrics. For low-density calorie eating. Recommends the same foodstuff as Pritkin but restricts fatty or dry foods like popcorn, pretzels and crackers. This plan is reasonably healthy given the high amounts of fruits and vegetables as well as being low in calorie density and saturated fats. The Zone. Moderately low on the carbs yet moderately high on the proteins. Encourages low-fat protein foods like fish and chicken plus veggies, fruits and grains. It is also healthy but lacking in grains and calcium. Weight Watchers. High carbohydrates, moderate on fats and proteins. A very healthy diet plan and very flexible too. It allows the dieter to plan his own meal rather than give him a set to follow. 
The quick weight loss diet trend disadvantage if you wear a size 14 and you blow a bundle on designer size 8 dresses as motivation, you will probably end up feeling guilty, frustrated, and angry if you are not slinking around in it a month later. In reality, you will do much better setting smaller, achievable targets for yourself. If you must try the new clothes strategy, go down a size at a time, and do not buy anything you have to take out a second mortgage to pay for. Because, if you continue to remorse on losing weight fast, you will end up incorporating fad diets or those that offer quick weight loss. For most people who are not aware of this fact, there are no such things as quick weight loss diets and there is no nippy weight loss for people who want to be slimmer than what their body can provide. The problem with most people is that they tend to opt for nippy fixes where in fact these things are not effective at all. What does not work today, there are plenty of weight loss strategies that are guaranteed to backfire. This is because these nippy fixes instilled on certain diet plans are, in reality, not efficient because it does not employ the right principle and the right attitude in losing weight. These quick weight loss diet plans are known as fad diets because that is exactly what they are, just a fad. In time, when fashion is over and popularity wanes down, people will realize that the diet they have depended on is not reliable at all. To know more about these fad diets that are selling like hotcakes in the market today, here is a list of some telltale signs that would tell you not to try it even once. Here they are, 1. Skipping meals Does your diet plan require you to skip meals? If it does, then, it is a fad diet. Abstain from food completely is not a healthy habit. It may even cause some serious complications or problems especially for people who are sick with diabetes. Skipping meals will only cause a hypoglycemia, or the condition wherein your blood sugar is really low, and will probably only be effective in making you eat twice as much at the next meal. 2. Dieting without exercise, or vice versa exercise is crucial to the human body. It is important in the proper blood circulation and other activities of the human body system. Therefore, diet plans that do not require you to exercise are nuisances. People are born to move. But then again, exercise alone is not sufficient. Hence, it would be better if diet and exercise will go hand in hand. 3. Continuous dawdling There is no better time to start losing weight. If you want to really lose those excess fats, you have to lose weight now. Delaying tactics will not get you anywhere and will only make the problem worse. So, if your diet plan suggests a certain time frame for you start losing weight, chances are, you are following the trend of fad diets. Boiled down, it is best to rely more on the way you feel than the tail of the tape. This means that if the weighing scale tells you that you are losing weight even if it is slower than you would like, but you are feeling energetic and positive about your weight loss efforts, then, you are just doing fine. As mentioned and is worth mentioning all over again, weight loss is not a quick process.